It's mid-April here in central Indiana. Time to get the old axon out and dust her off uh, and take a look around. We'll have a look at the woods Without the canopy of leaves, we can clearly see the watershed or the water stand that forms this barrier between one cornfield or bean field and the next. For centuries, these water courses have determined the size and to some degree the shape of the farmer's field. They also provide an important source of cover for all sorts of wildlife. We have deer and, of course, plenty of coyotes, along with foxes and raccoons and muskrats and other animals that use the waterways both for food and for highways from one part of our state to the other. We can also take a look from up here and see how the woods forms a natural sponge that absorbs the water that would otherwise run off as a flood and cause soil erosion throughout the land. The trees hold the soil in and reduce the amount of erosion that the farmers have to deal with from year to year. We'll go around the corner here and follow the creek as it takes off cross country, headed eventually for the White River, and then the Wabash, and then the Ohio, and then the Mississippi, and ultimately the Gulf of Mexico. But right now, without the leaves, we can see the race course for deer that's been established on the south side of the creek. Our wildlife can move for miles and miles along these natural highways. And we have an excellent view from up here. All right, it's two weeks later now. May is in full bloom and the trees have all pretty much leafed out. We do notice a big white skinned sycamore every now and then that isn't fully leafed, but everything else appears to have been enjoying the warm weather. And it's difficult for us now to follow the creek as it runs through the woods. Down here at lower altitude, the woods are almost impenetrable from ground level. Here's another sure sign of spring. The American farmer doing his thing to make sure that we have plenty next year. Time to count the telephone poles and take the roll red axe on back to Jim Roberson Field at the Hamilton County RC Modelers Club.
we have the field spotted and as we land we come upon two more sure signs of spring. The first are those dandelions which come every year and plague our runway. The second sign is a, another rare bird. This is the American FPV pilot. We've been able to spot a covey of them out in 